how to place drawing in a new layout in Archicad. I will show you how to do this so that you can be able to print PDF. This is an example where I have uh, the, floor, the floor plan, the roof, north, east, south and west elevation and the interior sections of our project in Archicad. So you can see um, you need to go to the top right, you can see there are several options. The first one is the project map, the second one is the um, a view map, and the third one is the uh, layout book. So in the layout book, you can go to, the, there are several options down here, where you can change the setting from A1, A2. I usually prefer to use A1 size paper, and you can also customize your uh, master layout. So you can create a new uh, layout, where we're going to do uh, drag the elevation and the plan views and the interior section of this drawing. So I will need to go to a view map. Then I will drag this um, plan view. That is the fire foundation layout level. Okay, now you can see uh, we need to trim. This is the uh, foundation level. We need to trim this drawing to the section that we want to uh, place in our master layout. And that is the uh, current uh, pile level. So we'll drag from there, select a uh, trim and then just move it. Then place it there. Then go back to our view map, select and go to setting. Then here you can change uh, the uh, scale and other uh, settings. It is very important that you make sure that uh, these settings are okay because they will affect how your drawing will appear on the layout. I will delete and drag it again because Then again, uh, trim it to the current uh, pile level. Again, go back to view map. Now I want to drag the uh, plan view. That is the first floor plan view. So just pick it in the view map. That is the second option. And then uh, trim it. We just pick the corners and drag it. So again, uh, make sure you go to the view map, select the, uh, the layout you want to place. Then you can go to settings and change the settings according to that is scale and everything. Now you can also, uh, if the dimensions are not appearing properly, you can just uh, change it here in the settings. Maybe you want to change the dimension from meters to feet. Now you can see the, the current dimension I have over written the text to current to customize uh, text. So this one, that is why the dimensions are not changing automatically. 
Otherwise, the dimension should change automatic when you change the setting from uh, meters to uh, US architecture or uh, US uh, builder. So make sure you pick and then change the dimension there. So the, the dimensions should change automatically. So I will have to maybe delete and place it again. Check the uh, option, preference, dimensions, uh, US architecture. Now you can see dimensions. You can either change in the in the drawing or in the settings. So um let's just delete and place it again. Make sure the dimensions are used architects. The scale is one is to ten, then drag it. Then again, trim it. Again, you can see my uh, my ground level is appearing in black and white. So the fill does not have the fill. So you need to again go to the view map. You can see the, the way it's appearing. So it's not appearing the way it should be. So you should go to the view map, select the, the, the drawing you're placing. Then you need to change from a uh, sailing plan to building plan. That is the reason for uh, the appearance. So these settings are very important. You might be wondering uh, what is happening. So you just need to uh, edit in the settings. Now you can see uh, our field is back. So all we need is now to trim. You need to make sure you select uh, the elevated ground level, select it, and then go to setting. And then you can change the uh, quality and the and the type so, so that um, it appears uh, the way you want in the master layout. Then I will just drag it there. So what uh, is left is to place our elevation. So I'll, again, I'll go to view map, pick elevation E1, and then drag it. Wait for the elevation to update in our layout. So this um, is the elevation. Now remember this one is based on uh, elevation tools. Again, you need to make sure that the settings are okay. Go to view map. Uh, again, I'll uh, drag elevation E12. You can see elevation E12. I can Now I want to place section. I will place section so that you can see the interior of the building, the inner side of the building. So let me I maximize on the space. Then I will place section O4. 
Now that one is based on the sec section two. You can go to uh, tools and then pick section tool and then place whichever area you want to show. Then make sure the direction and then that is how you are able to see the elevation and sections. You can also explore into current view, but when you do that, you know uh, the drawing will not update automatically. Each time you change, uh, you, do, you revise your drawing. So it's better to leave it as it is. Uh, don't explore into current view. If you are, this is not the final, you're going to do other revision. And also this might depend on your client. My client might uh, request you to add uh, maybe some uh, openings or some windows so that uh, uh, you can have the lighting, then you can print your layout. You go to, uh, you can change the layout from uh, A1, A2 and stuff. Uh, you can change from portrait to landscape. All that you can just do by going to working books, like the master layout and then go to setting just on the uh, bottom right of your um, screen. These details also, I, I drag them the same way from the, uh, from the drawing and then exploded into current View. That's why you, you see the drawings are the, the, the details are appearing the way they are. But they are, uh, if you can go to fire level, these are the details are used. The um, um, septic tank details and also the added. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.